This video and its content has been rated G for general audiences, explored by LumiFusion, published to YouTube, and has been given the annual support from viewers like you. Well, this is it. We all knew since the early 2010s that Her Majesty would go through this at some point, and now it's over. No one in British society is happy during this time. However, on Sodor, Spencer was about to do something that would make him feel a little bit of both. Hello there, Spencer. What's wrong? Uh, hello, Thomas. I've got some important people to take to London. Indeed he did. Inside two royal red coaches were the Duke and Duchess, Governor, Mayor, Topham, and Samantha Hatt. They've all decided to head to England with me to pay their respects to- Queen Elizabeth? Yes, I've heard all about it. But that doesn't mean I don't want to be really useful. I understand. Wise words. You know, I remember that time where I went to London that the royal engine duchess suspected I had taken her coach. And I was like, this is my coach. Though, technically it's Spencer's. Huh. By the way, I'm still mad at you for hijacking that coach. Whatever. You'd be just as mad if someone was getting all the attention instead of you. <sighs> yes, I remember that very well. But at least me and her are now real rock stars together. Really now? How so? And if you don't know what they're talking about, this is a story. It all began back in 2020, where Thomas and Sir Tom Hatt received an award from Her Majesty, and as a thank you gift for helping her engine, she decided to pay a visit to the island the following year around the first day of summer, which is actually the 21st of June, two months after her 95th birthday. The plan was to have Elizabeth II escorted to Knapford by the Duchess of Loughborough. Then, she would make a speech at Knapford, be in many interviews, and spend the night in a fancy hotel in the town before traveling back the next day. Fifteen minutes! Till what? Till Elizabeth comes! Oh, right! And here I am. Such an honor to be here. Says the one who's older than her human counterpart with a crown. Oi! That's vintage to you! Oh my goodness! She's here! Godspeed, everyone. Hello, hello! I'm a Greek Western boxing and I'm glad to- Oh! She didn't hear me! Ah, uh, just a little longer before that whistle comes up to us happily and says, Woohoo! Why, hello there. <laughs> so what? Everyone was excited, and some even began caroling for her. Hey, aren't I the brother of Mallard? Be quiet, cousin. Queen Elizabeth has more power than Gressley's legacy ever will. Though I wish I'd pulled that train for a second time. And after a couple of interviews and scenes of people being controlled by the cops, the Queen made a speech. And, and as a 95-year-old grandmother, I am to some people. Nothing is going to stop me from being pleased to be here with Sir Philip and a whole bunch of our really useful people and engines. God bless this island. Marvelous Majesty. At the end of the day, Duchess headed over to Vickerstown for the night where everyone wanted to see her, from a safe distance, of course. Thomas has told me a lot about you. You seem like a pretty funny engine. Indeed. What do you will build? You kind of look like the blind Scotchman who's cooling on the overhaul. Yeah, I've kind of seen strapped up engines who look like him. September 1938. I'm actually owned by the National Railway Museum in Scotland. And I give tourist rides around the United Kingdom. 
or anywhere around the exhibition, but whenever the Queen needs to travel somewhere by rail, I would be of assistance. Unless I've broken down, since back in the day, the Queen had one of the most pleasant rides on me. Guess that means I'm older and wiser. No wonder more of my class was preserved than yours. What a horrible thing to say. Besides, when'd you even get here? Just now, and I'm here to call out to this engine for ruining my purpose of being one of the most famous engines in the world. Well, good for you. Now go do that somewhere else. Bruh, I bet not many people outside of Thor even know the name of Mallard's brother. Whatever. Don't get too puffed up, boy. Says the one who fell for my trick into coming here to enjoy the presence of that white whale. Don't listen to him. He's the Duke and Duchess of Boxford's special engine. Why is he though? Couldn't the Tom Hat just send him away? That's something I've always wondered too. <sighs> My driver told me about this once. But you gotta know, Spencer is not for Tom Hat's engine. You see, in 2003, when the Duke and Duchess were first elected, they wanted a private engine to take them to Sodor. They had been to college years ago before they got married, and their favorite engine of study was a streamlined A4, like Mallard. So for Tom Hatt decided to save an old engine from the scrapyard on the mainland, and then give him to the Duke and Duchess. That being Spencer. The Duke and Duchess used him to travel to Sodor with Gordon's help, and they used an old mansion that Sir Tom Hatt I used to live in before moving to a barren environment with his wife. But they'd forgotten to preserve it, as it was very old indeed. In 2007, they started building a new summer house, and nowadays they live there, and use Spencer as their private engine to travel to various places across the island. Now as we all know, Spencer isn't the nicest engine who shows off a lot, but loves looking after the Duke and Duchess. And in the fat hat size, any engine is useful in their own way. No matter what their personality is on the outside, they just want to be really useful on the inside. Well, that's a good thing, I guess. Indeed! Let's just get back to business. How about we see if he really would find Duchess useful wow. after I dealt with her? Fortunately, the next day, Spencer had forgotten about Duchess and was making his way along the line while the Duke and Duchess were in a meeting with the mayor. But he was stopped at Lower Tidmouth. There, the driver and fireman were talking to the station master for only about a few minutes or so. Duchess will be heading down the line with the queen heading home in a few. So we must move out of the way into that siding over there. Passengers will be taking photographs as well. That white lens of soul! Stop being a stuck-up star. Now come on! Spencer was so cross, they almost made a very poor choice. You know what? As soon as she pops by, I'll blow out steam lolly covering her in scent. You do that, and you'll be shunting trucks for months. Oh, what do you know? You're only an employee. Who can contact Sir Topham Hat? So Spencer stayed quiet, while Duchess thundered by, quick as a flash. I can't take any more of this fame game. Oof. Hey, what are you doing? She did it, I'll do it. She did it, I'll do it. What? Huh? Spencer's horrible plan was to try and be faster than the royal train behind the coach and attempt to shove him off the tracks. Obviously it would kill Her Majesty, but Spencer was too furious to realize that. But as he was getting closer... Wait, what? Oh, crud. Spencer had wasted too much water rolling along, and now he couldn't move without help. Spencer was taken to a war tower at the quarry, where he had to spend the night there. You see, the Duke and Duchess, as well as Sir Tom Hatt, were very mad at Spencer's behavior, so they punished him to work at the quarry until they could trust him again, while Boko took care of the Duke and Duchess's services. But little did Spencer know that he would get an unexpected visitor. What the, Duchess? Before you ask, after I dropped off the Queen, I felt sorry for your accident. So I ask the royal family to contact Sir Topham Hatt to see if I could visit you. Look, it's just that I felt like oh. everyone was so thrilled about the Queen's oh. arrival that they forgot about the use oh, of the Duke and Duchess. Well, I haven't. I know exactly how you feel, especially since high-speed trains were invented. 
every day most people enjoy me, while some prefer more efficient engines. And that's their opinion. You can't please everyone, but what you can do is try your best to be really useful in the best way you can. You have every right to not feel good about something, but that doesn't mean you get to let it out on everyone else, especially in a way that hurts society's feelings or insults others. I wasn't here to brag about anything, just trying to make a purpose for myself and the people that rely on me. Well, that's good to know. Indeed, Mr. Oh, my name's Spencer. I remember now, and once again, my name is Duchess. And for the rest of the night, the two were chatting like old friends. Well, if you can be friends with Duchess, you can be friends with everyone else on Sodor. You just need to work on not being so boastful and giving others with a lower level a chance. Oh, time to go. Goodbye, Spencer. Goodbye, Thomas. Hmm. You can now let the queen rest in peace and have someone else take over. Prince Charles, my son, I believe my husband's crown belongs to you. they say made an error in controlling the train before leaving the locomotive he intended to apply the independent brakes and then by the time he realized his mistake the train was going too fast for him to climb back on we're being told now by a spokesperson for the public utilities commission that this employee will be held accountable Spencer!